So now I'm going to read you a normal pig. Pip was a normal pig who did normal stuff. She liked making art, cooking with her family, and thinking about what she wanted to be when she grew up. So many choices. Then one day, a new pig came to school. Ew, what are you eating? It stinks. Pip didn't know how to respond. It was just her normal lunch. The new pig was in Pip's art class, too. Weren't we supposed to draw houses? Pip's drawing a really nice looking house. It's special. It's different. Pip hadn't changed, but she started to feel different. Is that your babysitter? That's my mom. And there's her mom waving to her. Different colors. And there's Pip on the bus ride home feeling upset. When her parents asked her what was wrong, she replied, why can't you make me a normal lunch? On Saturday, Pip's mother had an idea. Why don't we take a trip to the city as a family? Pip had never been there before. There she is taking a subway, just like some of you. Pip heard so many different languages, and there they are in an art museum, hearing Spanish, Chinese, Russian, French, so much more. At the playground, all the pigs looked so different. Stripes, dots, different colors, every pig is unique, just like every person is unique. Even the food was different. Is there anything on the menu that's not so weird? Maybe it's weird to you, but not for me. I like it. And look what's happening. He's sharing his lunch with Pip. When they got home, Pip was feeling better. Do you want me to make you a normal lunch? No, thanks. I'll bring what I always eat. On Monday, Pip sat at her usual table at the cafeteria. Ew, she's back with her weird lunch. Maybe it's weird for you, but not for me. I like my lunch. Want to try it? So Pip shares. It's good. Want to trade? Mmm, you should try it. So everyone's enjoying her lunch. And weirdly enough, by recess, Pip started to feel normal again. So that's the book. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it made you think about how everything that makes us different makes us special. Thanks for watching.